As if these new MacBook Pros weren't already ridiculously powerful, now we're hearing of a new high power mode. What's going on YouTube? Yes, according to Mac rumors, text has been found in the Mac OS Monterey beta that suggests a high performance or high power mode for these new MacBook Pros. So we're gonna dig into it because unfortunately guys, there is a catch to this. So before we get started, you know what I'm gonna ask you to do. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell I was about to do like four different things. Just just two things. Subscribe, click the bell. You can like the video too, so you don't miss as we cover your favorite tech and video games. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show. All right, so let's start with a little bit of context. Let's start with a little bit of history, okay? So low power mode originally started in Macworld uh, with the iPhone in iOS. Um, and this was because Apple had pretty much just been receiving increasing pressure from the Android community that had low power mode already. And of course, with these devices taking them everywhere with us and with chargers not being as fast and as powerful as they are now, um, people wanted to squeeze as much juice out of their devices as possible. And it's even relevant today. And so what this does, especially for now, the higher refresh rate iPhones, uh, it can cut that down to 60 frames or even 24 Hertz uh, refresh rate. It can uh, cancel background tasks and stop background refresh, dim the display and stuff like that in order to save battery life. So it's been a great feature and it's, it hasn't gone anywhere, but Apple's unique algorithm works to uh, preserve even more battery life. So then even recently it came to the iPad and the iPads had 120 hertz uh, refresh rate display for a while. So it's been able to take advantage of that as well. Now, when it comes to the Mac, although there are energy saving settings that you can do, like putting the display to sleep, etc., they've never really had a low power mode. Well, it seems that Apple has decided to skip that altogether with a new high power mode, which is going to just nitros like the entire system but let me read this article and then we'll get to the catch so according to the mac rumors article text within mac os monterey beta reads quote your mac will optimize performance to better support resource intensive tasks this may result in louder fan noise uh -huh. and now we're starting to get to the catch so here's the catch guys apparently high performance mode will only be on the 16 inch models now i'm going to give you my hypothesis my best guess as to why this is and then also there's some hope there's a light at the end of the tunnel i think this uh, purely comes down to fans and pure chassis size so uh Apple is confident with the size of the 16 inch MacBook Pro and the larger cooling system, bigger fans, uh, that they'll be able to overclock, basically push the entire system even further. Uh, as, as the article also says that most people will not even be using the fans on day-to-day -day tasks with these machines. You're just not going to be doing enough to even make it kick its fans on. It can just run super cool at low temperatures it's super power efficient etc and so it's not going to need to kick those fans on but when you're doing intense tasks like 3d rendering or multiple streams of 4k i mean they say the thing can do 30 streams of prores 4k so i would imagine if you're anywhere near that you're going to start to get the fans to kick on but then you can turn on this magical high power mode and the whole system will then uh reallocate resources to uh, your specific needs at the time. And I think this is fantastic. And I think it just comes with having the bigger chassis. You've got more aluminum. There's just more body of the machine for the heat to dissipate through. And it's just not possible in the 14 inch. But here's the hope. And, and here's where I think the silver lining comes in. I do think that with time, Apple will be able to make a custom algorithm for the smaller chassis to maybe squeeze out a little bit more performance or at least optimize it even more in some kind of super mode it's a hope and it's a guess but i think it's definitely plausible if they can optimize for a chassis this small with an 815 with a uh basically an afterburner you could scale that up and potentially do that for the macbook pro too and i would imagine they do it for ipads and stuff like that listen apple's working on it but for right now it's with the 16 inch macbook pro so this might be another reason why some people may just want to go for the 2500 option get the 16 inch display get the more powerful uh, charger for fast charging yeah you're starting out with that m uh m1 pro chip but you can upgrade that as well. But again, and I've said this in all my videos, check out my recap to the event and my buyer's guide for which MacBook Pro I think you should get. But I think storage is the single most important spec that you're going to seriously want to think about and put 
a good sizable chunk of your money toward when purchasing one of these. Uh, with the speed of these SSDs, with the amount of work you'll be able to get done, you'll be probably twice as productive because these machines are multitudes faster than probably anything that most people have used. Uh, that means you're gonna be doing more work and that means you're gonna be making more files, which means you're gonna be taking up more space, which means you need more space. So definitely think about that guys. But yes, a new high power mode uh, for the MacBook Pros, the 16 inch and all the flavors of the 16 inches. We know there are so many configurations uh, that you can do. I have my own buyer's guide. Link to that will be in the description below. But I think the Max Tech YouTube channel does a fantastic job with their buyer's guide as well. It's much more in depth as well, uh, looking more at the analytics versus me just saying, hey, you don't need all that. So I'll leave a link to that down in the description below as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and you know what I'm about to ask you to do again. Subscribe, click the bell, and like the video so you don't miss this. We cover your favorite tech and video games. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Grant Geek Show.